This is part five to the pegboard toy project for grade six. In the previous video, we had completed designing the mallet head and the mallet handle. In this video, we are going to drill the hole in the mallet uh, head for the handle. Now to make this easiest, I'm gonna come over to my parts and I'm gonna turn off all of my parts except the mallet head. They're still there. Uh, but I'm going to turn them off so I can see my part the clearest. Now something new, we're going to choose a plane tool up here. And we have the front, right, and top plane here, but we want to create our own plane. So I'm going to choose my plane tool, and I'm going to choose to have it on the front plane. If we can take a look at this. But I want to offset it, meaning I want to move it out 0.875 inches, which is uh, the radius of that mallet head. So if you if I look at it from the side view, you can see that plane one that I've created here. And here's the original front plane I drew my sketch on. I'm moving my new plane out 0.875 inches, hitting my green check mark. Now I'm just going to change my navigation tool. And we can see that we have plane one now that I just created. If I look at it from the side, it lines up directly now with my uh, mallet head. Now, the reason I've done that is now I can lay a sketch down on that plane I just created, that plane one. And you can see I have that sheet of paper that directly gets lined up with the front of my uh, cylinder surface. Or my circular surface. Now that I have that sheet of paper down, I can grab my circle tool. I can come to the center of this and I can draw out a circle and make it one inch. Now that I've created my circle, I'm going to click on my dimension tool. I'm going to click on the center point of my circle and the top line. And I know that my mallet head itself is three inches. So I'm going to center the center of my circle 1.5 inches down from the top. Now I'm going to click on my extrude button. And I'm just going to angle this slightly so we can see. Now, I could make my handle off of this but what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove material and i want to remove half of the diameter of this now the diameter of this being 1.75 we're again going to use that 0.875 inches green check mark and what you'll see is i now have a place where i can now insert my handle I'm going to come back to my parts. I'm going to make them visible again. And if you have not done so already, you can click on your parts uh, and rename those parts. Handle. And then mallet head. I do realize that the handle looks extremely large for this toy. So if you feel comfortable and like to do your own design, uh, you're more than able to design your own mallet to fit with your toy. In the next video, we're going to come over to our assembly file to put our pegboard toy together.